Hello there guys, and welcome back to my Scum single player series. Now you might recognize where we are. We are at the observatory. Because uh, I couldn't sell anything else from last episode, so I've still got the stuff in the car. So I thought I may as well, as we were heading home, I may as well pop here and see what we can find. But what we do have is a lot of stuff to talk about. Because 0 0.95 will be dropping very soon. And with it comes a lot of different things. And yes, if you're wondering where I got the deagle from, on my way here there was a drop. And it gave me a 50 deagle. So I thought, you know what? We may as well go loud and proud for a change rather than being sneaky all the time. But having said that, with 0 0.95, that is probably going to change because I don't know if anyone has seen it, but in one of Thomas Slav's, why did I go prone? Tweets, they have now activated the horde system. Now, I'm not quite sure how this is going to work. No one is quite sure how it's going to work. Thomas Leff says himself that it needs a little bit of work. So, it clearly isn't refined. There's a lot of food here. Clearly isn't refined 100% just yet. Um, but, not quite sure how it's going to work. Because obviously the more puppets you have, the more lag you have. Now, I've already got times eight puppets. And, alright, I don't necessarily consider them to be a horde. Because a horde, for me, is something out of <coughs> Days Gone, if you ever played that game. That was a horde. That was a horde. That was hundreds of puppets. But obviously, you know, this is different. This is an online multiplayer, not a uh, single player based game, basically. So it will be interesting to see how that works. <clears throat> because even with these eight times puppets, I mean, you, you've seen before in my previous episodes that I can't go to the city just because of the lag. Um, ooh. That's going to wake them all up. There we go. Phew. Let's just check up here. But, um, yes, it is going to be interesting because there is also the possibility... This thing's so loud. And so brutal. There is also the possibility that you will no longer be able to take cover. Where did you come from? You will no longer be able to take cover in houses. Now, there hasn't been any mention of that in the tweet from Tovislav. That you will no longer, you know, that they will actually be able to open windows and doors and things. But he has always said that from day one that eventually they will be able to open doors and windows. Maybe not open, that's the wrong word. Break down. There you go. Break through. So, it's going to be interesting. However, he does say that your silencer and bows will become your best friends. So, yeah. <clears throat> not quite sure how it's going to work. I'm looking forward to it. It should come with 0 0.95, which is literally just around the corner. Frogs, get out of my face. It should come with 0 0.95, which is just around the corner. So we should see something new very soon. There we go. Take care of him. Uh, uh. This thing is a beast. Loud, but a beast. Oh, I need to pee. Okay. 
We'll have to find somewhere to pee. Uh, and there's nowhere really safe to pee. Uh, okay, we pee here. So yeah, it will be interesting to see how it works. Um, again, going back to the horde system. For me, a horde is like 25, 30 plus, but I don't think it's just feasible. It's not possible. The lag it will cause will just outweigh the advantages of it. So, oh, I'm loading invisible bullets. That's interesting. I am loading invisible bullets. Hmm, that's strange. Okay. I think that is only happening with this weapon. I've seen myself load other weapons, so I'm not quite sure what's going on there. But anyway, what he does say, Tomislav that is, is that it will be um, you know, not 25, not 30, not 50, but it will be done in such a way that it will make you want to poo your pants. His words, not mine. So, it is going to be interesting. I'm not quite sure how it's going to work with people like me who are playing on increased puppets and increased damage. I'm assuming it will just be the same, but obviously, you know, if you're playing on times eight, then obviously more will spawn in. So we just have to wait and see how that one is going to plan out. Money. Money's always good. I'm surprised there wasn't a single weapon in there. Did I do all of these? I didn't get a single weapon? Oh, wow. Okay. Stingy. Fine. Um. So, yeah. That's coming. So, it means we've also got the long-awaited pickup truck, which I have to say looks very good in yellow. I do like it in yellow. It looks really tasty in yellow. I am very much so looking forward to it. Um, obviously with the modular system. Ooh, weapon cleaning kit. Hello. Been a while since I found one of you. Oh, another hat that we can sell. Another box of bolts. Yeah, I'm just wondering what other colours there are. I mean, obviously we've only seen the yellow one for now. Which, again, looks pretty good. I'm not going to lie. I hope they come in orange, though. Bright, bright orange. That's what I want. Bright, luminous orange. <clears throat> it will be pretty cool. It will be pretty cool. Nothing else up here? No, okay, fair enough. So that's that coming, which everyone's looking forward to. No news on when yet 9.5 will drop. But they are pushing it, so... Soon. Who knows? A week? Days, maybe. Who knows? You're dead. Who knows? We just have to wait and see. Like everybody else. I want to... Ooh! I didn't know these were here. I had absolutely no idea there were weapon lockers in this building. But okay. I'm not gonna... Wow, that's an M16 mag. I am not going to complain. I shall pick lock it. <clears throat> See, if, if the new horde system puppets and things can break down doors. You know, doing stuff like this is going to be so much more dangerous. Let's search it first, you idiot. 9mm. Always useful. Plugs. Boring. Oh, no, we don't want that one. Want that one. Um, <clears throat> you dead? Yes, you're dead. That's okay. That's why we came up. So, yes, I am very excited about 9.5. Also, you're dead. Okay, we've done all of this. Also, hopefully, again, it hasn't been confirmed. Nothing has been mentioned. 
But hopefully we will get the long-awaited scar finally. And there's a hell of a lot of puppets outside that door. Hola. So I know a lot of people have been waiting for the new weapons. And also the Mosin. Maybe, maybe the Mosin. Not the Mosin. What am I talking about? Wrong game. SKS. There we go. Not Mosin. SKS. Getting my games muddled up again now. Uh, hopefully that will come in as well. It would be nice if it did. I just want to see if I can deal with some of these paparitos who are out here. I don't know if I'll be able to get to them. Oh, there's one. But where is the... There you go. Where are they all? Come on, I've been all the way around. Where are you? There's one. Okay, maybe there's not as many as I thought then. Or they're inside a building, maybe? But it does sound like an awful lot. Okay, we shall go... Oh dear. We shall go and investigate. With this. Oh, thought I broke my leg then. Um, yeah, going back to the weapons. Hopefully, we shall get the flamethrower. Well, based on how much they're pushing it and the little snippet that is floating around Twitter or X, whatever the hell you want to call it these days. Hopefully, we will get the flamethrower. That's going to be a game changer. For a horde system, that's going to be a game changer. Not quite sure how it is going to work. Go down. See, things like this with the horde system, you won't necessarily be able to do. Apparently. Because... Because it will just attract a hundred billion... Well, not a hundred billion, but... You know. It will attract them, the puppets, I mean. To a certain degree, again, according to Somislav, that you don't want them to be attracted. Get off my building. Right, is it quiet now? Can we? No, oh, not yet. Oh, I've also repainted my gun. Looks like good, doesn't it? I quite like it. I quite like it. The sort of hex. It looks nice. I am very proud. Okay, they're all dead. And now it is quiet. So, yeah. Going back to the flamethrower. Ooh, another fuse. I think I've got four fuses now. Oh, hello. Hello, Mr. Dirtbike. Um, oh. Add a bit more storage space. Yeah, I hope with the flamethrower that you will actually have some kind of burnt effect. I don't know if that is the case. And the little video clip... The little video clip that has been shown doesn't really show a burnt effect. I mean, you can't really tell. It's just kind of... They all just sort of collapse on the floor. I really hope that they do get some kind of charring. Close. Because that would just be awesome. Come on. I know I've just woken you all up. Yep. Missed. Any more for any more? Good. Uh, what are they? 
Ah, that's what they are. Right. Okay. Yes, indeed. Flint and steel. Ooh, I haven't found one of those in a long time. A long, long time. Most vital piece of survival kit, really, is a flint and steel, so you can get a fire going. Paper. Why is there paper in there? But yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. It's coming. It's coming very soon. I think most people are quite excited about it. Oi. See? This is what they need to work on. I shot over there. But this half of the building didn't hear me. Which is a bit of a shame, because they should have done. So it's... Come on, then. One in the leg. Two in the leg. Also, having been playing DayZ now for quite a little bit, what would be good is if they could implement the same kind, implement the same kind of system they have in DayZ for the puppets, where you shoot it in the leg and then it goes down on the ground and starts crawling. That's really good. Because you think, oh, it's dead, it's gone down. But no, it hasn't. And then all of a sudden it's biting your ankles. Like a little terrier. Oh, nice box of nine mil. And some tacti gloves. I shall take some tacti gloves. Why not? Uh, a lighter. Yeah. So yeah, I am very much so... Ooh, wire, always important. Looking forward to see what else comes with it. I mean, this is just a few things, hopefully. The... The, oh, and the ATVs. Of course, I forgot. Huh? The ATVs, the modular ATVs, maybe. Again, that thing has been confirmed. We don't know, and we won't know until it's dropped. But based on how much they're pushing the um, the, 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 the the screenshots and the the tweets, I'm not going to call them leaks because they're just not. He's not leaking anything. He's, you know, just showcasing everything. Um, you know, this game isn't like COD, where everything is so hush-hush. So, I don't care. It's, it's, he's just sharing it with us. Out of the kindness of his heart. Um, yeah, is the ATV, oh, battery. Is the ATV. Again, I was never the fan of the ATV. I found them to be particularly slow. And obviously, you know, the puppets can just smack you off of them, whereas in the car, they can't. You're actually safe in the car. Again, that may change with the horde system. Maybe maybe they now actually do damage to the vehicles, or they... I don't know. I mean, a bit more damage than what they currently do, because obviously they do do damage if you run them over. Your car will get damaged. But... Um, you know, maybe they'll do it in such a way that the windows get smashed and then therefore they're able to sort of hit you inside the vehicle. That would be a nice little feature as well. Oh, there's another one. Look at that. One, two, three. Down and done. Ooh, goulash. I do like goulash. Goulash is good. Especially on a cold winter's day. Nice bit of goulash to warm the coggles. What oatmeal? I should I can. I can sell it. What else we got? Cornflakes. I also like cornflakes. Well. I do like them as well. Right, let's go and as we're here, let's just go and drop this off in the car. I'm a bit full. Um... Yeah, I was never a big fan of the ATV. I always preferred the vehicles. So, yes. Hopefully, maybe in a week. We don't know. We just have to wait and see when it comes out. We just have to wait and see, like everybody else. Where is my automobile? There you are. Hopefully, soon. Not that I want to get rid of it. But hopefully soon, um, 
we will be replacing... Actually, I'm going to keep chocolate. Why not? We will be replacing you or upgrading you to a brand spanking new... Oh, spanking new. New to us. Put it that way. Um, Pickup truck. Hopefully an orange one. I really hope you could get it in orange. I really want an orange one. Like bright, bright orange. Bright, bright, bright orange. Uh, yeah, that's very good. And what I wanted to do was nibble on the chocolate bar. Because I like chocolate. Actually, we might as well come down a bit. What's the point in running all the way back here? We might as well come down a bit. Saves running around all the time. Ooh. There we go. Also, I should really attempt... Well, no. The planes... The planes are good. And the one and only time I actually managed to get one out of the hangar. It was pretty cool. But I just think... I think... I don't think the map is big enough for planes. Personally. I mean, maybe they should replace the plane with a little bubble helicopter. Maybe that would be better. For me. Again, this is just completely my personal preference. I'm sure there are people there that absolutely love the planes and, and you know, good on you. But for me, I was never really fussed about the planes at all. Um, it's fun flying them, don't get me wrong. And it may be fun, you know, in, uh, in a PvP environment where you've got two or one uh, RKPs attached to it and you're having a dogfight. Yeah, okay, that sounds like fun. But, I don't know. They just, they never really got me hyped as much, I think. The planes. A little bubble helicopter. You know, a little two-seater bubble helicopter. That might be different, but I think a plane, it's too... It, I don't think the map is big enough for a plane. Because, although, don't get me wrong, it is a big map. <clears throat> it's not as big as some of the other maps out there. And, uh... I just don't think... Ooh, this tree! I just don't think a plane qualifies. Again, that's just me. Other people may disagree. Other people may agree. But that is purely just me and my opinion. Let's just turn this around and check this little bit. But yeah, a little bubble helicopter. That might be quite good. It's a bit slower, you know, not so quick. Uh, again, they could do the same thing. It could be guarded by the sentries and, you know, be very difficult to get out. But <clears throat> oh, rope. I bought tons of rope, and now I find it. So I also need to make sure I empty the car before... Uh, one point... No, one point... Before 0 0.95 comes, because the last time they did a patch for the vehicles, uh, I lost all my stuff inside, and I don't particularly want to do that again, because there's quite a lot of stuff in here now. And there's quite a lot of stuff. There's still all of this stuff in the wooden box to sell. So... Yeah. I don't know if it's going to come with a wipe. I shouldn't think so. It will come with a wipe because it's not a main update. It's a sort of adding patch, if you like. So I'm not sure it will cause a full wipe. Obviously, people with private servers may wish to wipe anyway. Ooh, two wheel drive. But again, that isn't complete. Completely, utterly up to the private server owners. What? 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 
Did you see how slow? That I just bounced onto that car. Oh, I want to push. Roll. No, 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 come on. Don't do this to me. You can do it, Bob. Okay. Jet. Hang on. There we go. My, let me just use my superhuman strength. Really? Thank you. Stay. Oh. I literally just went bum bum. I, I, I don't think I could have hit that at a slower speed. And I still managed to mount that car. Well, at least we fixed the problem. Um, yeah. <clears throat> I'm. If it doesn't come with a wipe, I'm not going to wipe. Uh, I'm not going to reset anything that I've done. Because we're quite far into this. And I've done quite a lot of work on my base. Which you'll probably see in the next episode. So I don't particularly want to do that all over again from scratch. Because it took me quite a bit of time. And quite a bit of resources. So, yeah. If it comes with a wipe, there's nothing I can do. It will get wiped. I'm hoping not, as it is just a sort of patchy patch. An update patch. And not necessarily a whole new thing. But um, it may have to. So we shall just see. Can you climb this? <clears throat> Excuse me. Can you get up here? I think you can. The question is, will I be able to get down? Because the last time I climbed a ladder with a backpack of height, I wasn't able to get down. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Well, there are boxes up here. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. More rope. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Um. What up, what up, what up? It's a Deagle 50 mag. That big old antenna. Massive. It's amazing to think that, you know, humans, <clears throat> people, used to craft this kind of stuff. And now all of this stuff is being replaced, <laughs> long since being replaced by machinery. It's a shame. People should still be able to crap. No! Oh. Okay. What did I do? Did I break a leg? It's only a C1. It's okay. Wow. I fell off the ladder. Didn't mean to do that. At all. At all at all. What have we got in here? Anything useful? This is actually a really good place for a base. Ugh. Nineteen seventy-one, August first. This is a really good place for a base. Appreciation. Okay. We appreciate the hard work that you have done, but we're firing you. Because we no longer need your hard work. That's how those kind of situations work. Thank you very much for being our slave. Here is a mug with your name on it and our company logo. Please enjoy it and I hope it reminds you of us for the rest of your life. That's normally how those situations plan out. So, yes, I would take the mug and I would place it where the sun don't shine. In them, not in me. Well, this is, yeah, let's see, this is an awesome place for a base. You've got, uh, what do you call it? Concrete walls. So you don't have to worry about upgrading anything, because it's pretty much there. A couple of windows to board up. There's a lot of those masks lying around. This is a, me oh, a rebarb cutter. This is a mega place for a base. 
junk. You've got a drill press. A bit of junk lying around, but you know. Actually, a really cool place. All these boxes to loot. More rope. Give me that. Don't need that. Ooh, I'll pick. Take that, though. Uh, Gunpowder. No, 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 no. I need that. Yes, yes, yes. You'll see why I need that when I head back to the base. Uh, mobile phone. 100% mobile phone. Can be sold. Anything else? Search this desk. Duct tape. Hey, let's see. Would be an awesome place for a base. I like this. Hmm. I have to remember about this. I might make this my base the next time. I like it. I like it a lot. Get a little fire going. A nice view. Yes. Yes, yes. Right, I think, other than these two bits over here and those toilets. Give me, give me, give me. And onion rings. Oh, I love onion rings. Onion rings are good. Right, I think. Oh, there's a few things on the roof. Hang on. May as well. I did see a ladder. Yes. Yeah. I like this. is an awesome place. Build a nice little watchtower up here. Nice view everywhere. Okay, so you've got three doors that need barricading, basically. That's about it. Now, let's try not to fall off the ladder this time. <clears throat> I'm glad to see they fixed the gun holster patch. Right. Mission accomplished. We got more stuff. So what I'm going to do now, I did say you'll probably see in the next episode, but I think, seeing as we looted this so quickly, I think I'm probably going to head home now and show you the base. So... If we can get started. We need to head south. Staff is where we need to head. But not over the edge of a cliff. Potentially destroying. Ooh, that was slippery. Everything. I wonder if they're going to introduce... <laughs> a bit GTA-ish. But I wonder if they're going to introduce... Um... Which way do I want to go? Yeah, that's the only problem with this place. In general, is that it's such a wiggly-ass route to get anywhere up here. You really do have to go all the way around the houses. There's certainly no straight line. That is where a helicopter would be useful. Because a helicopter, you can just go... Brum, 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 brum. You know, you don't have to think about a runway... You don't have to think about any of that. You can literally just fly up. Something is wrong. It's the second time that did that. It did that to me on the bridge. Oh. For some reason, my vehicle is just veering off randomly. And I don't know if it is a bug. Maybe I have a sticky keyboard. Don't say it. Don't say it. Although I do clean my keyboard quite regularly. But, uh, yeah. I don't know why it does that. It's very annoying. But as I was saying, this is where a helicopter would be good. Because you wouldn't have to go all wiggly, wiggly, higgledy, biggledy. You could just go straight direct. Because a plane landing here, eh, a bit rough. Especially now with the modular system, you could lose a wing or two. So, uh, yeah, helicopters would be good. I would like helicopters. Put helicopters in the game, please. Thank you. There we go. Maybe. Who knows? I mean, <laughs> when they fully release it on version 1, which, to be perfectly honest with you, I don't think they're going to release it fully on version 1. Um, again, that's my personal opinion. I think they will probably keep it in early access for a bit longer. 
I may be wrong with that, and I hope generally I am wrong. Because when they release it to uh, version 1, when they actually release it fully, uh, it should, I don't know if they're going to do it as it's released, but once it's released, it should then be open to the modders. And I mean, if you take a game like DayZ, for example, or Skyrim, and look how far it's come with modders, think what the modders could do to this. I mean, it would be... It would just make it a different game, so you never know. You, They, the... Developers may not officially release helicopters or include it in the game, but I'm sure after a while someone will do some mods and you'll be able to get a helicopter, you'll be able to get speedboats, cruise ships, submarines, fucking Apaches, Typhoons, Challenger tanks, Tiger tanks, I'm sure. I'm sure of it. So, you know, it's all subject to change. But helicopters would be nice. Official helicopters would be nice. Ooh. Right. You will see why I don't particularly want to reset everything when 0 0.95 drops. I always look at this place for a base. I always look at this place for a base because it's got a nice little fence. You know build a nice little you could build quite a large base in that plot actually i know that you know again <laughs> with the horde system having a little fence like that probably isn't going to do much although they can jump that already but it'll be interesting to see what happens if they actually do do a lot more damage to your base and you know start smashing it up and stuff like that then maybe you're going to have to spend the more time as opposed to just a twig level 1 base. You're going to actually have to spend the time to do it up to uh, a... Uh, what do you call it? Ah, concrete base, or at least a metal base. So, you know. It is going to be interesting, and it should drop very, very soon. Hopefully. Possibly by the end of this week. A lot of people thought it would be this Monday. So the Monday just gone as you're watching this video. Uh, but it wasn't. Who knows? Maybe it comes out before this video goes live. And what I'm talking about has already happened and you're already fully aware of it. Just have to wait and see. Nice little tail swing. We love it. Yeah, you imagine a modder, you know, Lamborghini smashing around this map on a Lamborghini. Yes. Like I said, if it comes 0 0.1, not 0 0.1, 1.0, the donkey, I uh, want to go straight on here. Then we should be at the base. Or at the base. Also, another thing is they've always said that they wanted to actually completely get rid of the map. And, and have it like in Daisy, where you have to find the northeast quarter of the map and the southeast quarter of the map until you actually get a full on constructed map. Right, here we are. And we have a few visitors. Look what I've done. Look what I've done. I've been a busy, busy boy. But now I just need to get rid of these little girls and boys. And. Squish, 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 squish. Missed him. Look, see, this, look. This is almost, almost possibly what the new horde system will look like. That is a lot of puppets. Yes, I have times eight puppets. Or well, times 15. I can't remember now. Oh my god. I can't remember how many I've actually put on. But it's a lot more... I'm going to run out of fuel. It's a lot more than vanilla. Put it that way. And that is a lot of puppets. So, you know... Even without a gun... Let me just magically reload my weapon. There we go. Even without a weapon, 
if you have that lot chasing you and they can break down doors and windows so you're no longer even safe in a building, yes, it's going to be tough. It's going to be very tough. Right, is my home area clear now? Nope, I can still hear more. There we go. And there is another one I've just seen running over here. Come on, limp a lot. Do more. I have to watch my fuel. I mean, there is a fuel station just over there, but... Can we get collateral? No. Right, there we go. Oh my god, there's more! Where are they coming from? So... It will be interesting with the hordes, for sure. Go away. Oh, I shot him right in the Bastard. Right. Is that now everybody? Yes. So... Just to finish off... Welcome... Home. I wish that would stay open every time I log out, but it doesn't. But yes, this is where I now call home. And I've already started to upgrade it. Like, most of it is actually upgraded, apart from the fence here. Hang on, let's take you in the front door. No pun intended. Yes, we have a cabin. It's okay, these bushes always appear here. I just always have to cut these down every time. But I think, you know, there's nothing we can do about that. That is what it is. It doesn't really bother me. You just cut it down and it's gone. There we go. So yeah, we have a stage two or an actual cabin, not a twig thing. Yes, I still need to do the roof, as you can see, although uh, it looks quite medieval. And welcome to our little humble abode. And I still need to do the floor. But yeah. This is all the scrap that we got from last time. So yeah, I've been very busy. We got these guns, ammo, tools, everything sorted because of my OCD, food, not a lot of that. Bed, workstation. Uh, what's in here? Uh, wooden stuff and car stuff. There you go, see? And then we got another little door into the garage door. I went and got my little bicycle. So we got the bike back. I do want to go and get my dirt bike. Uh, wood log storage, which is now currently empty. Oh no, there's a few logs in there. Because obviously I've been using those to cut into planks. Because you need a lot of planks. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. You need a lot of planks. But yeah, that is home. There we go. What do you think? It's quite cool. I wish you could have a chimney. Build a fire stack with a chimney coming out of it and smoke. Just just the final little touches, you know? Just the little details. Just the little details. But there we go. So guys, that's where I'm going to leave it. Maybe on the next video we'll be on 0 0.95 already. Who knows? Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Ring that little notification bell so you get notified when my videos go live. And as always, I'll catch you all on the next one.